you've known it when before everything was knocked down, loud and square oh, yeah. and all of that. And now, what did it feel like? They knocked it down. Oh, gosh. You know what? Um, did you know the, um, oh, what was he? Glenn Levy, his name was. Mm-hmm. I think he was a counsellor or something. Mm-hmm. I think he was a counsellor or something. You know, if he was down there, he'd pop in to my mother's and uh, he'd say, they were sorry after. Yeah. You know, they um, pulled them all down. They were sorry. There were some wonderful houses. Loud and square was glorious. Oh, yeah. What I mean, my father used to say, he first came here. It was all captains in that living in Rowden Square. You know, from the seamen, like, you know. Yeah. The seamen used to be captains of the sea, you know. And, they, and he said these houses, steps going up to the houses before they pulled them all down. With you, it seems like every single one of them was a sports star. That's it, that's it. But of course, I mean, with the prejudice and stuff, they couldn't play. They couldn't play for Wales. No. None of them. I bet they were sorry after. Well, yeah, oh. you, had, you had talent like went north. Uh-huh. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah, you have to look up my brother. He was good. Yeah. Yeah. He was good. They said, because um, when he passed, a lot of them come down from Yorkshire. Mm. And then one of them was given a, a pass to yet for gold, no. Johnny. Yeah. And they loved uh, Billy Boston up there in Wigan. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's crazy. It. They adore them up north. Uh-huh. And Cardiff don't even honour them. No. Could you be a couple of reasons for that? <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. Of course. Yeah. So yeah, you, what about was... what about you and family? You said you had your boy Craig. Yes. So, what about Craig your family? Craig passed away. Craig passed away. Right. He was maybe forty. Yeah. I'm and, sorry um, to hear that, love. I didn't know. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, I really love Craig. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, yeah, you know, he um, had the big one to be in the airline. And then uh, he went to the airline after. Yeah, and he liked it. Right. And everybody loved Craig. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, in the good times. Oh, yeah. And uh, Laura's my friend. She said she was talking to you, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah. Laura. I talked to her. It was it um, yesterday? Yesterday, I think it was. Oh, yesterday. yesterday was yeah, yesterday morning. I talked to Laura. But um, you must have talked to her before. You talked to her before that. Oh, only only to arrange. Only to arrange a time. Oh, uh, whoa, uh, I yeah, see. Yeah. Because yeah. I went to Laura's wedding. I was fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was fourteen when Laura got married. I went to a wedding. Yeah. Oh, dear. But it's... Not as a good mate, yeah. <laughs> but so much has changed, doesn't it, kid? I mean, in oh, terms of yeah. what what kids now have compared to what we might remember. You know, uh-huh. our, our rule... The things we could do. The things we were able to do. Could do. The things we were able to do. You know? Yeah. Go out, go out on the beginning of the day if it wasn't a school day, uh-huh. and, and off you went all day. Yes, and pre- I mean, um, I was talking to uh, Eleanor, who uh, Eleanor, and I was saying when we went to school, you have to go, you have to go in the snow. You have to. Mm. none of them closed. The schools didn't close like they do now. Anything happened, the schools closed. That one like that. We used to come home, oh my God. In all kinds of... It's... Yeah. We used to go when it was high. <laughs> <laughs> they never closed the shop and had schools. That just meant playtime was more fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
and then you come in crying. I just go, I just, so well, he wet. Said, do snow balls, do snow balls. He said, I know you're going to come in crying. Yeah. And you, That's even right. if you were the one who threw the first one. Yes. <laughs> did Laura tell you she worked in the colonial centre? Yeah, yeah, she did. She did. We were good kids. I said, we never have kids. I said, we never had a lot, but we were happy. My mother always said yeah. that. And then they used to say, oh, ma'am, so and so and so and so. They had bikes for Christmas. And they sat near there. Yeah. Mama slap her hands on the table. She said, there's your bike. Look, people do a bloody eat. <laughs> <laughs> I always do that. Uh, oh, ma mind you, oh, God. We had a good upbringing. There was five of us. Right. And then my father went to see and then my mum used to take us all to the shelters in the night, you know, mm. the headed shelters. Ah, because you, you, yeah. you remember the Second World War of the, I mean, uh... I was, let me see, I was seven right. when the war started, yeah. yeah. What do you remember of it, Ken? Oh, everything. The bombing and, well, then that's what, you know, we'd be in the shelter. And then we knew we were going there, you know what I mean? Mm. And then this, because Mama had five of us. Yeah. And I just was little. And my mother had it on the lap, and the tears was running from my mother's eyes, on to Iris. She was a bugger, that one. I said, oh, Mama, I saw this water running on me. That's what I mean. What am I going to yeah. do to my kids? Like, you know, she said that. Uh, and that's how one mother then, and the woman next to my mother said, oh, what a cigarette, love. <laughs> my mother said, oh, I don't smoke. Yeah. I never smoke. Oh, I smoke. She said, well, calm your nerves. So the next night, she gave the woman, you know, went back. She said, oh, I didn't want me back. And that's what started my mother smoking. <laughs> <laughs> people, but she ate them. People, I said, she ate them. <laughs> people used to think it was good for them. <laughs> <laughs> But then, um, when she was 80, the doctor said she'd gone to her. I used to go to lab doc with her. Yeah. You know, because of her chest and that, yeah. and her lungs and that. And um, he said, oh, Mrs. Freeman, you've got to. You've got to stop smoking. So she said, oh, yes, I will. He said, you said that last time. And this and that. Well, Mama didn't do bad. She she didn't pass us in 94. Right. <laughs> So that was good going, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But it was... And she finished smoking when she was 80. And then my father and me, Dad used to go upstairs and smoke. And I used to go in the kitchen. And she'd say, look, and you know what? After she finished smoking for a while, she said, <laughs> after the meal, she said, put up the ashtray. <laughs> 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 oh, we was the last. You see, but what's the action? It's happy. <laughs> It's a habit, she says. Well, he kept on and on and on on the bus, he's saying. And yeah. then we love the cigarette, going to land dock on the bus, you know, at the at the back. And we love the cigarette that's always going to land dock. And she was 80 then. Mm. And um, we got there and he said, oh. And that was the last cigarette she had. That was good going. Like. You know, strong, strong women. Strong women. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, my nan always used to say, the men can think, but the women run the community. That's it. We That's just, it. We just yeah. let the men pretend, she used to uh -huh. say. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pretend, she used to uh -huh. say. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's still true. Yeah. Still true. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> what, about, what about the way, one of the things a lot of people have talked about is, manners and the way people have always respected older people. Auntie and uncle people have always respected older people. Auntie and uncle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Because a girl says we went, it might have been a cigar or one of the jobs I had. Mm. She said, we, Carl, you've got some auntie, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no. I don't grudge. I was in the car by day his name and so we took on a manti. Yeah. So he said, Oh what should I say to myself, Gosh, you got some auntie <laughs> <laughs> But I said that's how he was, you know. 
Yeah, it's respect, you know. You, of course. As a child, you couldn't call them by their first. You know? No, 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 no. 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 Yeah, the, yeah, but as I said, we, that nobody had loads of money or anything like that. No. You know what I mean? But you still have a good life. Yeah. When we were kids. Yeah, and then it was in charge some of the with the ships and that, because he used to come up and he say, oh, John, this father can't go. He said, would you um, take his place? Mm. So Dad said, well, I haven't got a lot of time. And he said, you can't the train at all. So anyway, Dad, I missed the train. Mm. So he never got blown up. <laughs> the ship he would have been on. Yeah. yeah. That's, and, uh, that's just that's and, just the way your luck runs sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, he was the train. Yeah. And um, then I said, oh, I'm telling him, my hey, I'm not catching it anyway. He could have gone. No. Because he was going to miss the, uh, the boat. And, uh, yeah, he got blew up. He and said, we should be um, coming down, whatever, what the river was, and Pacific or the Atlantic or what. And bombs have been, he said, it was terrible. Because I know a lot of my friends or their fathers. Well, and Laura, of, um, Laura was saying about her brother and... Yes, know, yeah. yes. Because my, my granddad, he was from Barbados and he went, he was on the ships all the way through the First World War. He then he then became a miner. He then, he then became a miner at, just at the beginning of the Second World War because my ah. nan said, you are not going again. Cause uh-huh. you, you went, you lived through one, you'll never live through another. She wouldn't let him go, and it's typical. It's typical luck. She wouldn't let him go, and it's typical. It's typical luck. You know, we you can't be a merchant seaman, which is hard enough life. So what do you do? You become a miner. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, guess we get enough because in the war we um. Went to have a rabbit number day. Yeah. To have a rabbit number day. Yeah. Have a day. And, uh, oh, God, I got to my mother and I came back. A lot of us went. I mean, it was, you got more prejudice going into Cardiff. <laughs> once once you were yeah. off the bay. I'm telling you, we did when we were kids. Nah. You know, because everybody's grandmother down here was white. You know yeah. what I mean? And everybody really mixed. Oh, crumbs. Yeah. Uh, you, don't, you didn't know until you went out to the, you know, out to the bay, like, yeah. what it was like. Bay, <laughs> Cardiff. I, I always say, without the bay, Cardiff would have had no money. No. Because it was the, the work of all of those seamen and their families yes, that, that, yes. that made Cardiff rich. Yes. And yet they still look down on people. And yet they still look down on people. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but of course you didn't know it until you went out to the nah. bay. You know. Yeah. I mean, I think I think that's why they knocked down all the houses. Because mm. it was like, oh, no, we don't want to, we, you know, we, you know we're, now, we're now no longer need them kind of thing, you know. Yeah, but as that lazy said. Yeah. The cow says they could have done them up. Yeah, and they'd have been you know, worth money. They were, be- they were better looking than some sorry. of the flats. He said, he said they were sorry. Yeah. Definitely. But they didn't, yeah. definitely. But they didn't do them up because they did them in other places. Yeah. Because I know I worked with this um, woman and uh, at, uh, I said, oh, pretend on one of those places. Mm. And, uh, she said they put up their house. Right. Yeah, they could have done that in our um, street. Instead, you know, they knocked down they knocked down half of Butte Town and the Bay, and then yeah. they and at the same time they knocked down Thompson Street and all of the docks around Barry. In Barry. Yeah. yeah. And just yeah. And just yeah. And so yeah, but um yeah, but uh, but yet that's that's the thing, isn't there? It's like you and me having a conversation, 
and immediately uh -huh. there's someone who crossovers our lives. That's it. You know, and that's yeah. that's, that's it. You know, and that's yeah. that's something that's missing nowadays. That you know, if you you talk to anybody who's from the Bay, you talk to anybody who's who's from from Barry, particularly the merchant seamen's families, and their yeah. lives will overlap. Mm -hmm. You know, it. You know, somebody yeah. lives will overlap. Mm -hmm. You know, it. You know, somebody or. When I was a kid, I used to go out with the boys from the bay all the time, and and they'd come over the island, and and. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll be a good day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll be a good day. Yeah. Good yeah, they were good. They were good people, and they were good days, and that's yeah. that's all you could wish for, in it, really. I know. And when you're a kid, you don't understand. Oh, some kids got this or that. Oh, some kids got this or that, the other, you know. Yeah. But, oh, we had a good life. Oh, God, there was five of us. And we had a good, good upbringing. Ooh, you said you couldn't talk, but you did. Ha-ha. <laughs> 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 oh, crazy. Yeah. I bet you just caught because I came here. You didn't call this morning, did you? No, 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 no. Somebody called, but it was a. Uh... Someone's just passed away, so maybe that was it. Michael. Is that... Michael dos Santos. Oh, it is. Santos. Oh, it is right then, is it? Because so, I heard that this morning. So yeah, I, didn't I think he passed oh, away. Oh, it is right. Yeah, it is right. He passed can, away. Yes, because somebody called me this morning. Somebody said, oh, don't repeat it there, just in case, you know. Yeah, and that's, what it, that's what it was. Oh, God. Yeah. The trouble at the moment, yeah, as, yeah. moment as well is, but although we can clap from the side of the road, we can't have proper funerals. No, and one place, no. And one thing the Bay does, and Butte Town does, is proper funerals. Oh, my God, yes. Because, um... When uh, my, because um, when uh, my brother died, and because he was living home, then he mm. came back, and uh, people come down from Yorkshire, you know, to the funeral, mm. and they said uh, we've never seen a thing like it, you know, because you went to the club. They said, oh my god! And people never walking, like people kids. walking behind, you know, it's yeah. But of course, that's the last time I've seen um, Michael. Um, the one that just died. Yeah. And that's the last time I've seen him. Yeah. And I felt old. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> his sister um, lived in Oddy Square. And you had to go all the way up those steps, you know. So he came in, I was in the shop, and we were having a laugh and talking. And he said, Oh, God, bloody, he said, those stairs, he said, when I came, he said, when I, when <laughs> <laughs> he was as bold <laughs> he said, she's a great mood, and he said, I have hair when I came in. <laughs> and when I heard that this morning, he passed. Yeah. And uh, uh, my friend said, oh, don't say nothing, because I don't know if it's right or not. Mm. You know, because you use these rules. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, yeah, somebody else told me when I was on the dock. Doing the yeah. shopping. But the I thing is, that. the thing is, I always say, the only memory you should have of people, you know, it's it's those good moments. Yeah. You know that, and I think that's why we celebrate. I think that's why we celebrate a, a funeral. Yeah, you, uh -huh. you should. You should actually. You uh -huh. don't mourn their passing because we're all going to pass. Yeah, of course. And all yeah. you want is people to celebrate and remember the good times. Right, yeah. I've taken up loads and loads of your time, and I'm grateful. I know, I'm for just saying. I've yeah. taken up loads and loads of your time, and I'm grateful. I know, I'm for just saying. Thanks for the cup of tea. Well, it's about <laughs> time you had one, and if you were a decent oh. person, you'd have made me one by now. Oh. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, I'm gonna go. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, I'm gonna go. Thank you, Bell. I'm really, really oh, grateful, oh, kid. Yeah. Get yeah, yourself a, a cup of tea, or better still, 
have a cup of coffee with some honey in. Oh, yeah, that's me. Oh, I love my head. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they, I'm Teddy. Oh, yeah, that's me. Oh, I love my head. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they, I'm Teddy, and it's coming out of my, I won't say. I'll tell you what, every morning, every morning, I have Weetabix or shredded wheat, right? Yeah, I got a light of and I put And I put honey on it. Oh, I love honey. Oh, it's chill on it. Oh, I love honey. Oh, it's just... Are you trying it in your coffee? Oh, yeah, I have. Oh, Do you have honey God. in your coffee? Yeah. Big, oh, I, yeah. I, you know, you. the doctor said to me, you're having too much sugar. You shouldn't have sugar. I said, okay. So I put huh. honey on things. Yeah. Okay. So I put huh. honey on things. Yeah. Dad, I never had... It was funny from a kid. Never yeah. had chicken in my tea. Never had chicken in my tea, ever. Yeah. From a kitty. Yeah, because I was in my kids. Yeah, but, they always had no, no chicken. But a lot of people... Know. And, uh, but they have those sweetener things. I'd rather have a spoonful of honey, oh, quite no. honestly. I'd no, rather no, have no. a spoonful of honey. I can, I can taste I have... sweetener. I don't like it. No. In my coffee, in my coffee, I have honey. Yeah. And before I go to bed, I always make a hot chocolate, and I have honey in a drop, of, and I have honey in a drop of brandy. I'll tell, <laughs> I'll tell you what, that, what, what I've done for you today. Right, yeah. you're in lockdown, and I've taken your mind back, and you'll be thinking about that for the rest of tonight, and other stuff will appear in your head, and I'll yeah. tell you, you think it'll appear in your head. And I'll yeah. tell you, you think of your mum and you'll start to smile. And you, here, uh, you are, I mean, here you are again, you're doing it. I'm never going to get a cup of tea here, Beryl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, let me tell you, well, when we were kids, <laughs> I'm, let me tell you, well, when we were kids, yeah. you know, I don't know, I mean, there was no televisions and no. all that then. And we'd all be on the fire in the kitchen and listening to um, <laughs> the radio. Yeah, you know, the yeah. stories on yeah. the radio. Oh, it would be wonderful. We didn't know that about televisions and all that when I was yeah. a kiddie. Yeah. I'm, I can remember when the first kid in our street in London, we were the uh -huh. second family. I have no idea where the telly came from, so we won't go into that. But we were the yeah. second family that had a telly in our street. We were the yeah. second family that had a telly in our street. And when someone yeah. got a telly, the, I tell you what, they regretted it because their house was never empty. <laughs> I know. Well, we were like that. When, when, um, because there was only two families that had a telly. There was our son and another family up the street. Families that had a telly. There was our son and another family up the street. And then... Um, my sister and her husband bought it for my mother. It was only a little screen, black yeah. and white. And then uh, this lady up the street used to come in, and another one on the other side of the road. And the <laughs> I mean, my, my mum used to make a huge pot of spaghetti bolognese on, uh -huh. on FA Cup final day. <laughs> Literally a huge pot. Because we had the yeah. telly, and you know, yeah. and I, you know, the yeah. telly, and you know, yeah. and I, you know, I'd be there with a group of my friends. My brother Paul, who's three years older than me, be there with a group of his friends. Uh -huh. Doors open, I'm cooking, come that's in, good. and that's the way it is. And people don't get that's the way it was in Barry. That's the way it was in in, in get. That's the way it was in Barry. That's the way it was in 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 the Bay in Butte Town. Of course it was. And you, I want my mother to give a dinner to somebody. Yeah. Because yeah. you never know. What what goes around comes around. I think, there's I times think, when yeah. there's times when we didn't have anything on the table. And sometimes when we didn't have anything on the table and mm -hmm. someone else did. And so, mm -hmm. you know, you help someone, they help you. And, oh, you, Christ, yeah. and no one was embarrassed because someone had to ask. That's the other that's thing it, I thought was it. good. You didn't have to go, any chance I could happen. If, if you walk the door, you didn't have to go, any chance I could happen. If, if you walk the door, you best come in and have something to eat, kid. Because everybody, uh -huh. knew, everybody knew who had no money, you know? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
special. It wasn't, uh, Christ, uh, yeah, well, I'm, <coughs> I'm ready now. Yeah, well, I'm, <coughs> I'm ready now for my tea. Yeah. Well, it's, no, you're going to blame me. You're going to blame me now. That's not going to work. <laughs> right, I'm going to go. Listen. I'm, Right, I'm going, because you're never going to let me get off the phone. Well, I'm, I'm going before you. Right. I'm going to go in Well, I'm, I'm going before you. Right. I'm going to go in the I'm going to go in the I'm going to I'll see, I'll see you after lockdown, Beryl. Okay, love. Okay. Bye, love. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.